Hello everybody and welcome to the Hunter Gatherer channel and there is a lot of excitement in the air at this house. We have two litters on the way. One due like any minute and the other one due in a week. And I thought I would show you our new whelping box. This is our old box and this is Winnie, the shop dog. And uh, she's the mama dog of Kimber, it's like they're coming in a parade, and Gwen, who must be sleeping on the couch. Winnie um, had Kimber three years ago, and Kimber is due today. And uh, she has possibly eight puppies in there, but there might be more, maybe one less. Depends on how many you count in the x-ray. But this was our do-everything box. We just had Winnie, and she was having, you know, one litter, maybe every year or two years. We had two litters with her and uh, now we have the two females pregnant at the same time. So we thought, we only have the one box, what are we gonna do? So I showed you the, the pool for the birthing area. That's our plan for the birth part of the whelping. And, uh, and now we've bought another box that's specifically for raising a litter of puppies. And uh, I wanna show you that. We're gonna build it and we're gonna check it out together and see what we think and uh, then maybe at the end of the litter, decide if it was a great investment or not. So let's uh, open the box up and check it out. As the box says, this is the Artemis Whelping, Whelping Box Plus. And it says on the side here, www.awcpet.com. And they're not sponsoring, we didn't get this for free. I think we bought it on Amazon, which uh, we're not the biggest fans of Amazon, but the way it is today, that's where a lot of people get their stuff. So this is our new whelping box. We're going to open this thing up and check it all out. It has some nice instructions here, so I'll probably Take a look at that. There's a, multiple ways you can build it and uh, see which configuration we want. Looks like it's time to get this thing built. She's like, are you gonna get that thing done or not? Time for having puppies. Okay, so we have five panels that are 48 inches long by I think 20, I don't know the height. And we have two panels that have opening slots on them that you can make it low so the mama can get in and out easier or you can put it up so that the puppies when they start moving around can't get out but the mama still can. And then you build it all the way up when rascals won't stay in their box and they want to run all over the house you build it right up it's all plastic which is good for cleanup not the greatest for the environment but hopefully it'll last a long time I don't know how many litters we're gonna do but it'll last till we're done with having puppies so we have these these are the pieces that put it together you slide that down there slide the next one down there and this is a pig rail for keeping the puppies from getting squished. So you can put these doors in any orientation you want to. You can have both of them facing forward. You can have one on the side, one facing forward. But the way you can build this, you can have two 48 by 48 boxes or one rectangle that's 48 by 96 by 22 tall. So I'm gonna put this together in the way that we think we want it, but maybe we'll change it later on. These have little caps that you just slide on the top and it snaps in, keeps people from sticking their fingers in, keeps it from the puppies being able to hook onto it easy and uh, just keeps you from getting scratched up too uh, when you're messing with it. And it helps to keep that from sliding up and out. Oh, sorry, baby. Hmm? 
So that makes the first square, and these can come out for now. We'll take those out so she can just get in and out. And we'll build the last square. I think we might put the door out this way or this way. I haven't decided yet, so I guess I gotta decide real quick. Have the whole box built kind of the way we think we want it and now we need to put in the pig rails and I put the top caps in but it also has bottom caps just to kind of try to keep everything from coming apart uh, and to put the pig rails in you have these they snap in at an angle and then the, has a foot that snaps into it that keeps it up in the air some like so then you have a corner piece, like so. And then you pop these in from corner to corner to corner. So that covers each wall so that the puppies are safe if they're against the side and the mom lays down. What are you doing, Kimber? Trying to get into your kennel? <laughs> She's like, yeah, open the door, dude. I have the feet all underneath. I have the legs sticking up and I built the square and this is just gonna stick on there. It's probably gonna take a little finagling. Technical term. There we go. And now the pig rail is in place. The puppies can get put in there with, with Kimber. And then as they get a little bigger, we can slide these down here and take out the pig rail. And this will be kind of their play area. And then maybe once they get really big, we can take the centerpiece out, pull these tops off, pull the centerpiece out, and they can have the whole area to play. This also came with this pad. It's kind of got some rubber beads on the bottom. And uh, it can go on the bottom here and they can potty on this and uh, it absorbs really well and it's washable. We have three of these and as we clean up in the morning, we'll put the new one in, wash the next one and have two others to cycle through. So I would highly suggest these. Um, it's very helpful to be able to keep cleaned up. So that's the new whelping box. I hope that it works really well for us. If you've used one, let us know. Or if you have something different, let us know as well. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people looking for any kind of advice that are checking out the video. So that's our new whelping box and uh, we're ready for puppies. They should be here any minute. Just wanna let you know that we're thankful for you for swinging by. Hopefully it was a helpful video for you. Uh, check out their website um, if you're looking for uh, something like this and uh, that's gonna be it hey, we love you God loves you and we'll see you on the next one and hopefully you stick around to watch the puppy birth see ya